Hi, Secretary Clinton. Uh, America today is formed by a very diverse group of people. And uh, with the current rise in Islamophobia and the Bli Black Lives Matter movement, how can we make sure that the uh, United States today is uh, in, uh, that we protect the constitutional rights of all groups of people without marginalizing any one community, specifically as a mother of uh, three young children, as an American Muslim, how can I make sure that this country is the best place on earth to raise my family? Thank you. Thank you for your service in the military. It's my pleasure. And one of the... <laughs> one of the most distressing aspects of this campaign has been the language of Republican candidates, particularly their frontrunner, that insults, demeans, denigrates different... He has cast a wide net. He started with Mexicans. He's currently on Muslims. But I found it particularly harmful the way that he has talked about Muslims, American Muslims and Muslims around the world. And I have called him out continuously about that. It's not only shameful and contrary to our values to say that people of a certain religion should never come to this country or to claim that there are no real uh, uh, people of the Muslim faith who share our values, and to have the kind of dismissive and insulting uh, approach. It's not only shameful and offensive, which it is. I think it's dangerous, and it's dangerous in several ways. It's dangerous because American Muslims deserve better, and now their children and they are the target of Islamophobia, of threats. I've met a number of parents who have said their children are afraid to go to school because they are worried about how they will be treated. And we cannot tolerate this. And we must stand up and say every person in this country deserves to be treated with respect. And we must stand up against the bullying... So, the, uh, by all accounts, it was a good answer? Good answer. Yeah, but there, yeah. there's, something, answer. there's something I, I want to talk about in the, in the visuals and the imagery, because I thought the answer was good, but I thought that the young lady asking the question mm -hmm. was even more important. You had a Muslim-American mm -hmm. veteran of our military who decided she was going to go out and fight for our freedom and then come back home to a country where you hear Donald Trump mm -hmm. yelling and screaming and saying, kick him out, talking about raising her children. Mm -hmm. And even more importantly, if you juxtapose that, the images we saw from Donald Trump's rally this week, where you had, uh, where you had Muslim Americans being escorted out, That's forcibly terrible. escorted out. And here you have a young lady who was actually able to ask about her children's future to the former Secretary of State of the United States. That in itself encapsulates the difference in the decorum and the tenor of the two parties. And that is why... I'm betting on America, and I would bet on a Democratic Party to be number 45. Let me get the, me get the independence.